What's up guys, Tommy here, back again with another video on my Zero 10X. Today we will be doing a full official range test of this scooter. If you're wondering, this is the 52 volt, 23 amp hour model, which has a 1,160 watt hour battery, which is a pretty damn big battery. Um, so I believe this is the first full range test of the scooter um, on YouTube. So yeah, I'm pretty honored to be able to do this today. Um, and I'm not going to be going slow. I'm going to be just going my average pace, a little bit on the road, a little bit off the road, a little on the bike path, going up and down hills, uh, just getting the range that you know your average person would get out of this scooter. So without further ado, I'll be using the Map My Run app to get the range and distance I'm going, as well as the average speed. And we'll go have some fun, and at the end, we'll review the data. So yeah, let's go. So guys, we just started the workout and we're about to leave our house and go and ride the scooter so now guys go ahead and put your guesses down in the comments below i'm guessing i'll get about 26 miles uh hopefully um right now i'm at 57.5 volts and i believe that was the kickstand holy shit um so yeah 26 miles i think is what i'll get you know just going the average speed i like to go which uh is much more than i actually really need so i'm gonna shut up and let's put this in some time warp seconds per mile split pace four minutes 33 seconds per mile all right guys so we've gone our first mile um and you know we're just kicking it off so far it seems as if the zero to next odometer is actually very accurate as soon as this started saying that we hit our first mile this also said that we hit our first mile um so yeah the odometer on the zero 10x is actually very accurate so as you can see hopefully that's where we've gone. We've gone 1.11 miles. So yeah, I'll update you when we hit 10 miles. Okay guys, so right now we're about three miles into our journey and we're just cruising, getting ready to, you know, be on the scooter for another like hour or so, a couple hours actually. Um, but if you want the results, you're just looking for the results, you don't want to see me go and ride my scooter for 10 minutes, then just skip to near the end and um, like a minute before the end and I'll be, you know, sharing the results of what I got on my test. So for a lot of this test, I'm actually off road, you know, going, you know, up and down hills on loose, you know, sand and gravel off road. And I'm also going up and down very steep hills. Um, so yeah, um, if you're going like straighter than I am, like on a bike path or something, you'd probably expect to get about, you know, seven, eight more miles of range than I'm going to get in this test. But this is like, you know, just, I'm trying to get the least amount of range that I can in this test. Alright guys, so it has been 
47 minutes, almost 50 minutes. We've gone 9.85 miles and we are at 53 volts down from 57.7, which I started at. Because I started at 57.7, I'm gonna add like a mile to whatever total I get. So yeah, um, but yeah, my back is hurting. Like um, we've only gone 10 miles and it's been almost an hour. That's cause I've just been going up um, all these steep hills and stuff. And this just takes a toll on your back. But anyways, I guess for the next every four and a half to five miles or so, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so on the map, my run app, it says we've been going for one hour and 17 minutes. Uh, we've gone almost 15 miles and we've had an average pace of seven minutes and 36 seconds per mile. You know, that's with stopping and, you know, going slow up hills and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm doing good. My back feels like it's eating itself. Um, you know, normally you don't stand, stand up this long. Um, but anyways, we're going to keep going until we reach the cutoff voltage. We're at 51 volts. The cutoff voltage is uh, 42 volts. So I think right now, I'm estimating I'll get about 23 miles, hopefully. So, yeah. Um, do a little more riding, a couple more clips from me riding. Then I'll update you next one. We get to just about 18 to 20 miles. Let's go. So what I noticed when you get down to the lower voltages, like uh, 51 volts, I think we're at maybe about 40% battery or so, um, the acceleration curve becomes very weird. I, I'm assuming this is to conserve power, but you can see when we go slow and we pin the throttle, it's very slow, and then it starts to speed up. So I assume that's to conserve power. If you guys watched my last video on the scooter, you probably recognize this place. Did a little adventure here. It was pretty fun. I must have only went like eight miles that that ride. So far I've gone about 18 miles. So I said I'd update you. Um, actually, let me check the exact mileage. Um, yeah, we've gone 17.57 miles and it says 16.9 right here. So, so far the odometer on the scooter actually isn't too inaccurate. Um, it's off by like a mile, but this is, this is a long ass ride, like for me. Like my back, my bones hurt. Holy shit. I didn't think 16 or almost 18 miles would be like a fucking triathlon. All right, I'll do a little bit more riding and then I'll update you at the, uh, maybe about 23 miles. So let's do it. All right, we're gonna try to go up this hill, do this little jump again. I did this last time, but I don't even know if we'll be able to do it because the battery charge isn't very high right now. Ooh. Woo! That was insane. Yeah, so I found out when you get to a lower voltage on the scooter, it actually cuts out the front motor. Um, and uh, that's that's to conserve battery life because then it cuts the power output um, to half. So yeah, I didn't realize that. I mentioned that a little bit later in the video, but uh, yeah. Over here, 
front motor still isn't working, so I'll shut up about that until the end of the video. But we're where we were in the last video. Yeah, still, we still got some speed. Um, we're going, what, 20-something miles per hour, even after... Jeez, I don't even know how many miles at this point. So I've been riding around for a little bit longer and my SD card got filled up on the GoPro. Next scene, it's gonna be me at home sharing you guys the results. You're just about to see that. Um, and wish me luck, you can see the sun setting. And uh, that was not happening um, when I first started this video. So yeah, wish me luck guys. Uh, hopefully the machine doesn't win against man. I'm gonna try to conquer this beast. So anyways, See you guys. So we are back and the battery is just about dead. You can see it's at 43.3 volts um, standing still right here. Um, so that's just about dead. The cutoff voltage is 42 volts. I didn't want to take it all the way to there because you know, the battery, the scooter felt like it was slowly dying and I just, I can't, I can't stand for another, you know, 10 minutes just kind of cruising around on the scooter. Um, but yeah, let's say we'll get an we'd get an extra two, one, two miles out of that. Uh, so let's go and review our footage. Um, I'm sorry, I meant review um, how far we've gone. Okay, so um, on top of how far we've gone, we have the extra you know one and a half miles that we could go right now, but I don't want to because my back's sore, and the extra one and a half mile um, that we had when we started because the battery was down just a little bit so i'm gonna add uh three miles to whatever total we have so let's go into map my run right now i'm just gonna put it up there and i'm going to uh just kind of sh show you around from where i went uh where i started where i left where i circled around and where i eventually ended up uh back in my neighborhood um and yes it's very far almost three hours of painful standing and riding i do not recommend doing that um yeah the range on the scooter uh it's, it's much farther than you really even need like I, i'd never even get close to draining the battery in my normal use and guys uh that's a wrap for the video if you enjoyed this make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that like button make sure to leave a nice comment uh you know telling me enjoy my videos maybe and i'll see you in the next one later